Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadi, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make these crochet footies for men or women's wide. We're gonna start by making a magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I have a tutorial on my channel. We're gonna start by chaining one and inserting 12 half double crochets into the magic circle. Once we have our 12 half double crochets, we're going to pull our tail to close our circle and then we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made in chain one. For the second row, we're going to be increasing every stitch, so we'll put two half double crochets into every stitch that we made in the last row. After this row, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain that we made, and we'll be doing this for every row, slip stitching at the end. And for the third row, we're going to chain one, we're going to put one half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the second stitch, but two half double crochets into the third stitch. And we'll repeat this pattern all the way around until we're done with the third row. For row four, we're gonna chain one and place one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. You'll repeat row four for however many rows you need for your shoe size and I'll place that up on the screen. After crocheting however many rows you need, we're going to start working on the heel. So we're going to continue working in the round for 21 stitches, and then we're going to chain one, turn our work, and continue crocheting 21 stitches across. We'll be going back and forth, working on the heel, chaining one at the end of each row for however many rows you need for your shoe size. This is what we should be looking like once we're finished crocheting the heel part. Now we're going to fold it back and we're going to sew or slip stitch down the seam to create a sock. After creating the seam, you can go ahead and cut your yarn. To give the sock a finished look, we're going to take a piece of yarn and attach it somewhere in the back. 
um, we're going to crochet a half double crochet onto the top of every row all the way around the opening. So just stick your yarn in and slip stitch to attach it and then chain one and you can start the half double crochets. It may be hard to identify the top of every row if you're a beginner, but as you go on and do more, you'll be able to recognize and see where the stitches are supposed to go. Once you reach the front of the sock while you're doing your crochet border, it'll definitely be easier to see where the stitches are supposed to go. Once we work our way back around to where we started, we're just going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made, tie off our yarn and cut it, and then we have our sock. I originally created this pattern for men, but I'm really glad that it doubles as a women's wide because there were some people saying that my pattern wasn't working for them, but I'm glad that this one will work out for everybody. I really hope you guys liked this video and that you were able to create something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.